Another big crowd here tonight at the stadium. Welcome to the Carlin Lynch Activity Center. We're ready to go here from the stadium. That will go. Coach Lassie getting her team fired up. What a game. Nothing fancy, just end the game. Not returned, and the point goes to the Indians. It deflected in! Oh, what a save! The Indians get the point. What a slid hit. Goal! Did she score? Yes, she does! They may not catch him. Puts the Indians on the board. The Indians will win it. The crowd is going crazy. Good evening, and welcome to Dartmouth Memorial Stadium for what is a bittersweet day as we recognize 10 senior student athletes who are participating in their last home high school home regular season boys soccer game of their interscholastic careers. These student athletes have worked extremely hard during their four academic years and athletic careers, and we commend them for their accomplishments both on the field and in the classroom. We will introduce each graduating student athlete in numerical order who will be accompanied by their parents. Number two, Nate Pilling, accompanied by his parents, Megan and Kevin. Number four, Caden DeManch, accompanied by his parents, Kelly and Chris. Number five, Ian Barrera, accompanied by his parents, Patricia and Al. Number seven, Lucas Martinez, accompanied by his parents, Elaine and Rick. Number eight, 
Number nine, Captain Tyler Medeiros, accompanied by his parents, Susan and Steve. Number 11, Landon Cabral, accompanied by his parents, Kelly and Scott. Number 14, Will Fairfax, accompanied by his parents, Susan and Chris. Number 15, Captain Owen Carter, accompanied by his parents, Sarah and Kevin. Number 17, Andrew Souza, accompanied by his parents, Jody and Chris. Number 18, Luke Bissett, accompanied by his parents, Susan and Todd. Can we have the New Bedford Vogue students, seniors, raise your hand, please? How about a round of applause for our New Bedford Vogue seniors that are here today also? Gentlemen, thank you for your time, effort, commitment, and pride you've placed into your athletic endeavors, and we wish you the best of luck with all your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the Dartmouth High School 2023 seniors.
The competition, the sacrifice, and team unity are the cornerstones of life for each and every one of us here. Never in my wildest dreams, and when you're on chemo, you do have wild dreams, did I ever think I would be inducted into this Hall of Fame. My Dartmouth High School athletic days are some of my fondest memories. I wish all of you in one day of your life could feel what this feels like. To do something you love for years and to be honored like this. The Hall of Fame is something that it is a great accolade. It's something that, you know, we've all walked into that, that front, front area at Dominic High School and seen those pictures on the wall. It's such an honor to be able to have my face on there. Dartmouth Pride is more of, you know, wearing green, wearing Dartmouth across your chest, being part of a team, being part of a family basically just the spirit of it, you know, having the Dartmouth pride to get you through those four years. So much more than just these stats and these wins and these titles, it's, it's this, this passion, this contagious feeling of Dartmouth athletics and its legacy, it has so much heritage and it's, it's passed on year after year because of people who are here tonight, because of the coaches and all that they do. Your team are state champions, the Dartmouth High School. Champions of Division Three. Wow. Oh, this team has been wonderful. Touchdown, Jordan Tyman from 60 yards up. You're going to get knocked down, you're going to get hit, you're going to have a little pain, a little uh, aggravation, and you got to understand that uh, you've got to get back in the game. And I think that's life. We all get knocked down in life, and you got to get back and play the game of life and play it hard with a great deal of uh, enthusiasm. And I think that's where I, uh, I hope that they'd always do that.
Good evening. Dartmouth would like to welcome you to tonight's boys soccer game contest between the Bears from Greater New Bedford and your Dartmouth High School Indians. We remind you that one of the goals of interscholastic athletics is learning lifetime values outside of the classroom. We hope you will enjoy the game and will support all participants in a positive, sportsmanlike manner. Now let's meet the starting lineups. First, for the visiting Greater New Bedford Vogue Tech Bears. Sophomore, number, t uh, number three, Aiden Andrade. Senior, number 19, Tristan Andrade. Junior, number 20, Jack Guidush. Freshman, number four, Mateo Pacheco. Senior, number 10, Claudio Ramos. Senior, number eight, Giovanni Roches. Senior, number 13, Jordan Sindo Jr. Senior, number seven, Caden Soares. Senior, number two, Ronaldo Trinidad Jr. Senior, number five, Brennan Vieira. And goalkeeper, Junior, Avery Whitson. The head coach, of the Greater New Bedford Vogue Tech Bears is Henry Almeida. And now for your Dartmouth High School Indians. Goalkeeper, number one, Carter Bates. Senior, number two, Nathan Pilling. Senior, number four, Caden DeMatch. Senior, number five, Ian Barrera. Senior, number seven, Lucas Martinez. Senior, number nine, Tyler Madaris. Senior, number 11, Landon Cabral. Senior, number 14, Will Fairfax. Senior, number 15, Owen Carter. Senior, number 17, Andrew Souza. And senior, number 18, Luke Bassett. You, the head coach of the Dartmouth Indians is Josh Silva. We ask that everybody please rise and remove your caps. If should, please stand for the national anthem.
a beautiful night here in Dartmouth, Massachusetts, where it is game one of three senior night coverage here on Dartmouth Community Media. Ben Smith on the call for you guys today, and looking at this team, we're gonna lose. A, we're losing a lot of seniors this year, which is pretty bittersweet to um, see most of these kids, especially Owen Carter, who has been playing since his freshman year. Uh, once uh, since COVID. Uh, they didn't, weren't able to throw in balls. They were just kicking f on throw-ins, basically. Uh, basically, today, uh, as you can tell by the records, the Indians, 7-6-1, and one, and the Greater North Bedford Folk Tech Bears, 9-3-2. and two. Dartmouth took the first con uh, win of the contest against them, hopefully taking the season sweep today against these Bears. The Bears 9-3-2, led by one of their most powerful strikers, Ronaldo Trinidad Jr., who has been really great on that um, position for Volk this year. And the Indians, led by uh, their head coach, Josh Silva, who has been turning around this team so far this season as well. They started off uh, last year at a 4 at a five, I think six, ten, and two record last year, and turning this team around as it's towards the end of the season. Um, Dartmouth still in playoff contention, however, at uh, a seven, six, and one record, sixteenth in the state right now. Uh, so most likely they will be playing the number thirteen team in the state as well. Trinidad will start it off for the Bears, and. We're waiting for the whistle, the clearance. Um, Coach Almeida and Coach Silva wishing each other good luck as the whistle sounds. And we're off here at the stadium on senior night, senior week, game one of three. Off the head of Martinez. Now right in front, Vieira. Now Vieira tosses it over to Trinidad. Trinidad right away, and Fairfax lets that one go down the near end as Barrera comes in hot on that possession. And a foul right away for the Indians, uh, for the Bears, as Medeiros will kick a wing and a prayer down the near end as Barrero's right in front. Barrero shoots and misses it over the crossbar there. Could have been a field goal if you were in football terms. If you were talking football terms, that would have been a field goal. I don't even think it hit the uh, went through the goal post. I don't know. Let's look at an instant replay here uh, as that was completely, oh, wide right on the goal post there as well. Fairfax over to Barrera, takes a shot, hits the noggin of Vieira on that uh, shot there. And then Caden Soares kicks it out, and Vieira for the throw in for the Bears. Bissette takes it over. Off to Martinez. Now coming down the near end, there's Pilling. Pilling passes it over to Cabral. Landed Cabral. Off to Fairfax. Back to Martinez. Back to the near end, Cabral. And defense for Vogue Tech takes that one away. The Vogue defender tried to keep it in balance, but to no avail. Kicking it down the near end. Headbutt from Vieira. Now Demanche right in front. Now I'm going to call him the commentator like he did the other day to me. <laughs> hey, hey. 
mostly last year, it was um, – this year I think this is like the most athletic commentating duo DCTV has probably ever had. We get involved in these sports. Um, although Will uh, – Trinidad slow to get up. Not a good sign for Voke. And replacing him is number one. Uh, it doesn't say his number on the sheet. I don't know. Near end. Bates right in front takes the save. Puts it right in the gloves. Bates is the only uh, underclassman on this field right now. The only non-senior, excuse me. He's an upperclassman. Bounces off. The near side as Volk will have possession this time around. A throw in for the Bears. A kick down the near end to Barrera. Puts it down the wrong way as Dartmouth regains possession once again. Barrera loses his footing once again. Trying to get the ball away from Vieira this time. Now th down the near end. There soars. And Bassett on that defensive end. Demanche right in front, steals that one. Takes it down the near end, over to Barrera. Barrera's got blockers right in front. There's Vieira. Demanche trying to take it away from him. He, he can't. Now to Martinez. Ooh, critical play there for the Indians. Off the sternum of Pilling. Hope you all are enjoying your wonderful Tuesday evening here at the uh, Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. Ben Smith here on the call for you guys today. And we hope you all are once again enjoying your evening. Uh, game one of three of the senior week for Dartmouth Community Media, all covered by me. <laughs> Throwing for Vieira, coming up for the Bears. The thing I like from the Bears is that they are really well defensively as well. As you can see right now, they are really well on that defensive end. They haven't let Dartmouth in their own zone only, only once in the early minute of this game. VR is just tying his shoes before this. 53 yard from 53 yards out uh, boot down the field and Cabral will let that one go 
And Source right in front. Kicks that one out of the way. Andrew Souza on that defense. Just a critical situation. What could have had happened? What could have happened? And in. And that looks like it is Tristan Android, one of the Android brothers, on that goal there as the Bears take the early lead. Let's look at an instant replay here. And as that is not a good start for Carter Bates, too. I think he was just miscommunicated on that uh, play there. Throughout, I have never seen, that's like the first goal I've ever seen Carter get scored on in my commentary career there. And I was literally talking to him about it yesterday. I was like, I've never seen you get scored on at all. Every game I've commentated, you've never gotten scored on. They're... Cabral. Fairfax keeps it in. Covered by three Vogue defenders. Now to the near end. And a chase down from Fairfax. Saves it in as that one will be kicked down the near side for a couple yards deep. Souza to... Off of Souza to Soares. Now down the near end. Kicks it over. Carter coming in hot. And a kick that will go out. And possession will go to the Bears once again. In most of these games, Carter Bates is the only guy that they can rely on on this team. And you clearly could see that through the Bridgewater game is that they almost lost. But if it wasn't for Carter, I don't know. He's just the, uh, he's just the um, savant for this team mostly. Demanche kicks it down the near field. Over. Off. Oh, that's a foul. Well, they finally called that one there. A boot down the near field. Now Fairfax right in front. Oh! What could have happened didn't happen. Dartmouth still trailing. For now, here's Martinez. Kick down the near end. Off the defender. And Pilling will just... Uh, Trinidad on that defense. 
kicks that one out so they will have All right, let's go on a replay on this shot right here. Just a cur really good curved shot. Really good to get that arm right in front is, I'm going to tell you, Aponiquit couldn't do that uh, the last game. I'm not going to brag about Aponiquit because um, I'm not bragging when I say that. Um, but last game, Aponiquit, uh, when we commentated this game, um, Martina scored a goal the same exact way. It was a curve. Went a little bit. Um, went in for a goal, but that time around, the goalie was right in front to save it. A timeout is officially taken uh, with 27.08 left remaining in this first half of action. And we'll be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this telecast of Dartmouth High School Soccer here at the Dartmouth Memorial Stadium on this wonderful fall after evening action. A chance for Dartmouth to go up in the rankings here tonight. I don't know why you would try to save it there on that one as it was completely sailing out. But I guess trying to keep it in was the best idea to think of. Near end, here's Martinez. And takes it the other way. And Carter brings it back. Off to Martinez. And as that ball sails. Carter, over to Cabral. Cabral's got plenty of players as well. Taking it down the near end.
kicks it out. Great defense for Carter. Down the near field. Off the boot of Souza. Now down the near end. Here's Raposa. Right in front. Tripped in front. Now Martinez will go off of Andrade and a corner kick coming in here. Here's Nick Sylvia. Sylvia off the noggin there from the Vogue defender. Now go Vogue regaining it. Now kicking it down the near end. A beautiful swat there from the goalie. Now kicking it right down the field. Here's Soares. And Carter with the save. Regains it off of Carter Bates once again. Carter. Holy cow. And you got to love the Bates. If you don't like him, go home. <laughs> All right, let's look at an instant replay here. So many second chance opportunities here. Off of the shin. Once again, off the shin. Carter's like... Give me some. Give me some more. <laughs> A pretty crowd, great crowd show out tonight. Here at the stadium. One nothing Voke taking the uh, already in the lead to start off this game trying to save it as it is Android who just scored the goal earlier today in the 30 in the ninth minute of this game as that ball will sail and Bates right in front of it takes the save and rolls it out to Cabral. Cabral to Carter. And Macedo. Macedo has been good as a sophomore this year. And Vogue takes that one away, but they regain it back. Raposa trying to take it away as it's off. And a chase down from Medeiros. A save there for Bates.
and Macedo. And Martinez trying to take it away from Soares. He does. Demanche kicking it down the near field to Sylvia. Sylvia going to ditch it out to Cabral. Cabral's got to clear it. Gives it over to Carter. Now Carter, a wing and a prayer. Saved right in front. Whitson is pumped. The ball will sail high and goes right out of the as a foul and the Bears will have possession here. Kick down. And a substitution change coming in for the Bears, Giovanni Rojas. Coming in. Medeiros for the Indians kicks it down the near field. And Demanche right in front of it. And Raposa trying to get that one away. That's a foul once again. And again, that's a foul. That is atrocious. Tripped up in forward progress. How is that not a foul? Slid right in front. There's Cabral. Thrown for the Indians. Goes the wrong way that time. And a chase down, down the near field. Demanche got a free play out of that one. And another time called for the Indians. Indians taking a break here. And a huge talk over for both coach.
and the team breaks the huddle as they're getting ready. As they have another 16 minutes left remaining here. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. One nothing, Volk leading over the Indians. And a backwards kick from Martinez over to Carter. Volk takes it away. Now bringing it back. Volk regains possession. Taking it down the near end. And a save right in front for Carter Bates once again. Now Souza over to the near side, Martinez. Indians have plenty of time to keep it in their own zone. As Martinez fakes him out. Martinez got some time here as well. Give it over the near corner. Ball will sail out. And another Indians, uh, another Volk throw in here. And a steal away from Raposa. Kicking that one away, um, Souza. A stop right in front from Cabral. There is no Dartmouth players in that area. And right away, taking it over. Taking it down the near field. Raposa trying to get it right in front. As Volk once again regains possession. Taking advantage on their own zone. Oh, a 
bit too outside from Martinez as that one was way wide right. A kick down the near field off of Cabral. A boot from Carter. And tripped up. And the Indians will, once again, another corner for Dartmouth. Here on this end, you could... Oh, near side. Bassett once again takes another shot down the near field. Martinez trying to keep it alive. The goalie trying to save it. He does. A beautiful save from Voke by the goalie Whitson. A kick down the near field. And over to Silva. Oh, a little bit too outside from Silva. He had that. Just didn't get the chance there. Surprisingly, no offsides today. But pre-announcer's jinx over here. I think we had one earlier, but so far, as far as I know, there hasn't been an offside called for the Indians or Volk. <laughs> Carter taking it over. Off of Carter. Vote ball. And a throw in for the Bears goes the wrong way this time. As the goalie is able to keep it. I don't know if this, this is the perfect position to put Voke in right now. As a kick down the near side. Seals right out of bounds. 
And substitutes coming in. Macedo is out. Medeiros in for the Indians. Macedo, uh, as a sophomore, just joined the varsity team this year. Last year on JV, of course. Um, has been really well. Been the high, uh, the real rookie of this team, along with Raposa. And Raposa played freshman football last year. And Martinez had a chance to clear that one out. But that ball will go out of bounds. Not the brightest decision by Martinez. But and able to pin them back, I would say yes. About to reach the five minute mark of the first half. Dartmouth is struggling so far. Hoping to get back on their legs in the second half or in the next couple of five thirty left remaining. Don't forget they got 45 minutes left to play, so the ball game considerably isn't over just because of the score. And looks like Silva, Sylvia, excuse me, will let that one go for a corner. And he's waiting for almost every single one of his players to come back. Corner kick for Sylvia. And a swat right away from the goalie. Bassett picks it up. Oh, you got critical possession there. You could have had that if you were Martinez. But you are coming into a danger zone, though. Demand right in front of Trinidad. Trinidad has been a real highlight for this team. And that should be... I think that is a corner. I don't think, I think the scorekeeper forgot to stop the clock here. As time still winds down. The horn might blow, but game will go on on the referee's whistle. Well, uh, half will end on the ref's whistle, so. Or they might stop it at two minutes. Usually they do that. But now I, I think that was a per, uh, great foul there. That they should have picked up from the other one a few minutes ago. Yep, they will stop the clock at two.
Here's Soros down the near end. Shoots it. And goes a little bit to the right. And it will be a goal kick from Bates. Bissette taking it over. A pretty good crowd show out tonight on senior night for these wonderful gentlemen who will be going on to colleges next year and might be going off to college, might be going right into the workforce. What's the call? A red card. What was going on? And Almeida is animated. I don't know what he said. All right. Let's, I, I'm kind of confused how he got a red here. And he will take the showers early, hit the showers early as... Time wears off on the first half. I think he might have said something. I don't know. A little confusion as time might have worn off. I don't know, we need VAR for this game. <laughs> like the Euro Leagues have. Demand traps it as Medeiros will kick it over to Martinez. And Martinez over to Medeiros. Trying to pass it back to Martinez on, to no avail. Kick down the near end as well. Sousa! Bassett keeps it alive. Now Carter kicks it down. Now Baderis right in front too. Now off to Sylvia. And that's the final whistle of the first half. And what an entertaining first half. Uh, um, at the end, one nothing. Greater New Bedford Vogue Tech is leading over your hometown Indians. We will be right back after this halftime break.
and welcome back to this telecast of Dartmouth High, uh, Dartmouth Community Media. Ben Smith on the call for you guys today, and it has been a pretty interesting first half as Voke is in front of the Indians, one to nothing. Um, so far, uh, in the final minute, was a red card um, by uh, a Vo by one of the Voke players uh, there, and. So he's out of the game. One less player down for Voke. In Dartmouth at full strength. In this next 40 minutes. 40 minutes down. And 40 minutes left remaining, folks. Second half coverage is underway. On senior game, senior week, game one of three. Off the noggin of Martinez. Now right away, they're going to do another shot. Just not even 15 seconds in, and they're taking shots. Now, Souza. Going the wrong direction there. Saved right in front from Bates. Now Martinez. Ball will sail right out as the Indians will throw it in. Silva. Off the shin of the Vogue defender. Now a chase down from Demanche. Now defense stepping in right away. As the sun sets. on this one week from Halloween. And a kick goes wide right as another goal kick comes in for the Bears. Ah, oh, come on. 
I, I don't understand, though. I don't understand when you get tripped up in forward progress and you don't call that one right, and you call that one right there. Not gonna lie, this reminds me of the other day of the. Uh, here's Sylvia! Takes the shot! Great execution there from Sylvia. This reminds me of the field hockey game when it was just downpouring constantly, but it isn't downpouring right now. And Sylvia wished that he would want that one back. Could take that one back there. Dartmouth 13th in the state so far. And if they would be having a home game if the season ended today against uh, Westboro. And over Macedo! Shoots it in off the defender. He had that. Yeah, I feel you, Luca. No, but today, another show. <laughs> Souza. That was all ball. Straight up all ball right there. Just didn't get the angle that he wanted. All right, instant replay here. Now look at this corner. Oh, he had that. Now the Indians trying to take advantage on their own zone as ball will sail out, but Possession is still in favor of Dartmouth as uh, Sylvia gets clipped with the ball there. And that will be Volk's ball. The thing I like from Coach Almeida is that he is a phenomenal scouter. Now here's Macedo. Macedo, oh, wide right. <laughs> wide left, excuse me. <sighs> uh, here we go. That is one I would want back there. <sighs> And we go back to action. Cabral. And Dharma takes it over. And I looked like Medeiros tried to catch that one. But it's called football if you were in Europe. The Indians will have a f after the foul. The Indians will kick will kick it to their booter. Yeah. 
think soccer, in soccer, you got to know, most of these kids have been running up a field for 30 minutes, like sprinting up and down the field. Props to them for keeping their bodies in shape for these for this game. I don't know. I, I couldn't do that. Whoa! Oh, then we got a scrimmage there. I swear, officiate, officials got to come in here and then draw this, give this kid a card here. Apologizing after that play. Let's look at a replay. At this play. That is so uncalled for. Especially in this league. What could have happened didn't happen. I'm glad I mean I'm glad it didn't happen because it would have been a fun week for Chris Afuli on a suspension and the MIA taking action here. And tripped up again. And goes out of bounds. 28 minutes left remaining in this game as a shoving I mean I don't understand and Raposa right in front Tripped up there. And right in front, Macedo over to Sylvia. Sylvia. Oh, that was all ball by Landon. 
corner kick for the Bears. Excuse me. The Indians will have the corner kick here. And another corner for the Indians. I think if you're Dartmouth, call up another player here. Oh, a little bit to the left, uh, right. Slides right in front. And a goal kick for the Indians. As this ball boots it down, goes boots. Goes down the near field as another one will go barely out of bounds in a throw in for Martinez. And Martinez over to Macedo. Macedo over to Sylvia. Right in front. <sighs> and Demanche will throw it in for. The Indians, <sighs> now that's a great contested play. As it's over to Carter, goes through the uprights for a field goal. Macedo. It's off of Macedo there as the Bears will once again tie up possession. And Macedo comes off for the Indians and a throw in here off of DeManche. Toss to the near side. Out to Cabral. Now Sylvia back to Cabral. Now Fair Carter right in front gets another field goal, but the Indians still have yet to get a goal. And let's look at an instant replay here as quite got the a little bit up there. Could got could have gotten a little bit inside. I 
Anything can happen in the, the next 20 minutes of this game. As Bissett kicks it down the near field and staved right in front from the goalie. That is Avery Whitson. Bounced away. And seals out of bounds there. Ball will go in the stands and Madaris down the near end gets tripped up. I mean, Now, Carter, over to DeManch. A whistle blown, he, he was offside. And the Bears will take possession with 19 minutes left in this contest. Bissett comes out. For Dartmouth. <laughs> Martinez. Now Pilling. Over to Madaris. Now to Sylvia. Right down in front. Spin away. Save there for Bates. And we got a folk player down on the ground. As that looks like he might have gotten a cramp. A big thing in this sport is hydration. And... I'm talking about any sport. You you got to stay high. Uh, you, most of the kids stay hydrated. Um, but you hate to see a player be down on the ground right now. Clock stops at Caden Source gets up. And Martinez waiting patiently as he's got 17 minutes, seven, 
1738 left. Isn't that a uh, lyric to one of the songs? 1738. <laughs> there we go. I was like, I keep saying it, and is that a lyric to something? <laughs> and a boot towards the near field. Demanche over to uh, Martinez. Martinez back to Pilling. Well, headbutt it. And Sylvia. Right in front. Carter shoots it. Macedo. Oh. Uh -huh. That's what Macedo could have done. Could have done a bicycle kick there. If necessary. But look at this rebound. Got to get a harder kick next time if you're Carter. Now Sylvia. And a whistle blown and a foul. This is going to be... To have one of your best, one of your players come up. Could have Cabral right, right there. Cabral's right in front. You could kick it to him. In fact, they'll do a corner. Gutsy decision there for Sylvia. And ball will go out. And a substitution coming in for the Bears. Rojas comes in. And it looks like Trinidad will come out for the Bears. And a foul on Voke. A handball correction. Dar uh, Darmit's got enough time to get back and tie this one up. If they hold Voke into their on defense and Dar uh, their offense cashes in. As it's been a defensive game for Voke and a defensive game for Dartmouth. Throw in for the Indians as goes off 
of the Vogue defender, and Darmouth will still have possession as a throw-in here for Macedo. And a kick over to the near end. Pilling takes that one over as Medeiros. And the other Medeiros keeping it for the Indians as they take it into their own zone. Over to Carter. Uh, Demanche, excuse me. Back over to Sylvia. Here is Mar Martinez. Martinez kicks it right in front to Carter, and it's a goal! Owen Carter! Puts Dartmouth at a tie game with 11.54 left remaining! And that's what you got to do on senior night in front of your crowd. And Bates loves it. Now an instant replay here. Great assist by Martinez. Finding an open Marti uh I thought he was going to do Ronaldo's suey dance right there. Uh, Carter. Now that's a way to hype out the crowd. The crowd was quiet for the past few minutes as... And Raposo back out to Sylvia. Stays onside as he almost got caught offside. A headbutt. And Martinez. Martinez has been a really aggressive player. Oh. That is. That is atrocious. No one's a fan of the referees today. Sylvia right in front of it, keeping it alive for the Indians as it goes off the Volk defender and lands towards the truck. Near side, a shot by Pilling. The set comes in.
Shot there. A save right in front. Oh, come on. You have to be kidding me, man. And a timeout. This is the most ridiculous officiating I have seen all year. And a timeout is taken with eight minutes and two seconds remaining. No one's happy with the officials on both sides of the ball. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are enjoying your evenings as I am here, Ben Smith, on the call for you guys today on game one of three on senior night, uh, senior week here on Dartmouth Community Media. Uh, tomorrow we have volleyball for gr against Greater New Bedford Volk Tech as we honor eight seniors, also known as the Crazy Eight for the volleyball team. I will be on that call for you guys tomorrow as well. Is this the fastest action we've seen Dartmouth all day? A save there from Martinez as Dartmouth. Hopefully in the next five minutes, anything can happen for Dartmouth. Anything can happen for Volk especially. off the noggin of Medeiros. As coming in there, Bassett. It takes it away, Raposa. Now Cabral taking it down the near end. It's like a scene from a movie. 
at the st stadium. Now Demanche over to Martinez. Takes it down their own end. Cabral right in front. Had it and cut to no avail. Indians still are alive and a timeout once again for the Indian uh timeout once again on the field. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Coach Silva talking with Macedo and Pedro, who just finally got medically cleared to play soccer again. Out earlier this for the first month due to an injury. Glad to see him back in uniform. Five twenty six left remaining. One one score. Five minutes left remaining. Ball sails out. Throwing for the Indians once again. Indians throw it in now to Carter. The five minute clock has stopped. Indians can put up another goal here and a complete right in front from Raposa. And Madaris goes behind the net there. And a still a 1 1 game off the noggin of the Volk defender as. Time winds down down in this contest. Over to Cabral. Now Demanch. Over to Sylvia. Sylvia over to Carter. Now Sylvia once again get gets back possession. Gives it over the near end to Madaris. And Sylvia.
And a shot missed there. Now Bissett over to Cabral. Takes the shot. Great save right in front as the goalie patiently waits. I think this is the perfect call it waiting for a signal to be made here as it goes off of Souza and Volk will have regained possession as that one will be kicked out once more and I think that was Medeiros who kicked it out. Now down the near field. And they call it a foul. F As Raposa. They call a foul on Volk. And over the back there, as Darmot still got time, and the fans have been one of the best I've seen in a soccer game all time. Ooh. Great eyes there from Medeiros, just keeping that out of Darmit's way. Volk's way, excuse me. And another throw in, Demanche. Fakes him out. Now near side Sylvia. And the final seconds tick off in this contest. And that is it. A draw. A game expected in both ways as defense and offense cashing for both teams. My final thoughts on today's game is that, once again, it's a defensive game, and non-league, no matter what, it's not going to bring Dartmouth down in the conference, but they moved on 7-6-2 and two on the year. Don't give up a loss. Um, Folk moves to 9-3-3 three and three on the year. So, folks, I will be back for game two of three of senior week tomorrow. Um... And it will be girls volleyball versus Graydon Bedford Vogue Tech. From our entire crew here at uh, DCTV, Chad Amaral, Mike Fernandes, and our entire crew working on cameras today, our wonderful cameraman, uh, men, I'm Ben Smith saying so long, Dartmouth, and have a good evening.